testing, testing, testing. Is this working? Damn you. Testing. I finally got the sound fixed, I think. Is this working? Just checking the sound quality. Perhaps I can go up a little bit. Let me go to my. Is that better? Let me go to my. Is that better? I think we finally figured this thing out. I think we finally figured this thing out. Yes. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. Okay. So. Finally got the Pocket 3 using an external microphone. Let me just take that off. Because that's just delay. And I can see the comments if anyone joins this thing. <coughs> it's a good test. So we'll just wait for a few more people to join. Hopefully there will be somebody to join. But how's that image quality? We're in 1080p. Real munchies, yo dude, when are you going to roast this on my channel? That's actually a good point. Real munchies, I shall be roasting people's channels. Um, I think we should do that as a segment. Good to see you. Is the sound okay? Somebody at least showed up. I'll send you $100. Is the video quality okay? We've got three people on the stream, which is good. would be nice to hear... If I finally fixed out, fixed the, uh, hopefully you can hear me. I'm otherwise known as Real Groove Random. There we go. So Real Groove has changed his channel. I like the name, Real Real Munchie. So what are you just eating hamburgers on, on your YouTube channel now? Very good. Hey, Russell has joined. A good man. Russell looks like a runner from his profile photo. Haven't seen him on this uh, channel before. How's the image quality on the Pocket 3? We're going for low latency, so image quality might not be that good. We're in 1080p, so, you know, it's the best I can do live streaming. Hopefully we're looking okay. How many people we got on the stream currently? I can't see from that screen. Good, good thing. Four people looking. Four people watching. That's very good. It's not going to be a long stream. Uh, just um, wanted to test out. We're using the Pocket 3 with an external microphone. Hopefully the sound is good. Finally figured that out. I will be releasing a video shortly. So explaining live stream with a pocket three and all the tips that I learned in the last couple of days it was a pain in the ass so here we are let me just get some more light is that better this might give us better lighting I think does it look exactly the same Picture is good, he says. Russell says the image picture is good. Just use a little bit more light, even though this is a one inch sensor, we want to get the best lighting quality we can. So that looks a bit better. The skin looks a little bit weird, like beauty effect or something. I haven't enabled anything like that. So I assure you, image quality, sharpness. Let's increase the sharpness. Is that worse? Is that too much? Confirm. That is too sharp right there. So good to see a couple people on the stream. I'll just leave my stats to the left. Is there anybody else that wants to say hi? No. So Russell Glarum. Sound is good. Pitch is good. Real munchies. What time is it there? Good question. 8.15 in the evening. 8.15 in the evening. It's 
is that 10.26 in the morning? Is that a 24 hour clock? Because you're in the UK, I believe, real munchies. Is the sound good? I finally think I've fixed the sound now. So you can live stream, and you can live stream from anywhere, which is pretty good. 10.17 a.m. There we go, in the morning. Okay, image adjustment, we're on auto exposure. We're on plus, five, plus four gain, if you cared. Autofocus continuous, image adjustment, noise reduction enabled in the UK. Should we put that sharpness to one? We don't want to make it over sharpened. <clears throat> so good to see a couple people join. We had 10 views, uh, some good people who watch this channel and I shall try to keep it brief. Anybody in the comments at the moment actually got the Pocket 3? Uh, I'd be interested to know or looking to get the pocket three or do you not care because uh i understand you know money's tight these days why waste money on cameras right when you've got to pay your house hey beyond paranormal is here the image is so sharp dude we've got to use the pocket three on ghost hunting videos absolutely killed it in host light so you just used it on a ghost hunting video interesting do you have a little hair light that you bring along a little like white lamp we can add a little bit of lighting, some mood lighting. I don't know how it's going to affect things. It might make it too cinematic. What do you think? I production value channel is just herb. You're not watching a movie. Should we bounce that light? Get some of that light up in the atmosphere. We can increase. It's quite bright. Bright. There we go. Now I'm a professional YouTuber. Yeah, Beyond Paranormal says very little light. Real Munchies is staying with the Pocket 2. K-Man has joined the house. Hello, K-Man. How are you? He's got the Pocket 3. Russell Glerum, I have. Making a pet or deer recovery. Interesting. What's a 3T? You mean the Pocket 3? For pet and deer recovery. What the hell is that? Interesting. That's an American thing or a Canadian thing, I'm sure. Hopefully the sound's good. I'm actually using a wireless mic so you can sit back and relax. You don't have to worry. You can set this thing quite far away, which I like. You can get a little bit of a digital zoom. How's the image quality? You know, I think it's quite good. So here we are on YouTube. Those comments disappear after a couple seconds, which is kind of interesting. If you want to see my setup, this is not because I'm vain or anything. It's just easier to read the comments. Look at that. <laughs> so when a comment comes through, it pops up on my screen over there. It's a little bit delayed. But pretty cool. Yeah, so we can see things. It doesn't look as bad as what you saw on the image, but here we are. Pocket 3. DJI thermal drone. Oh, of course. I've seen that. I've seen that drone. Recoveries when a deer is shot and runs for a few hundred yards in a heavy bush. Wow. Are you doing the shooting? Interesting. Isn't that that very expensive drone? The one with like thermal camera built in. Hey, within Japan is here. He's got a complaint. I'm sure. When you say bro dot 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 dot, you know there's some complaint must be upcoming complaint coming from him i saw his live stream in melbourne earlier this morning or earlier this evening it was pretty good i didn't stay too long but I, I liked watching his stuff beyond paranormal you know me i might disappear at any minute i don't hunt interesting so you just spot the deers that have been hunted by somebody else and then you go and recover that's good good on you good on you to do that kind of thing drjz drez dre dre jz grutenate the nederlands ich ich kann ein beetje nederlands sprechen no that's german welcome to the how to guide channel dre interesting like this, the name of this channel was really weird this is the Pocket 3 Dree JZ. Unfortunately, did I write Pocket 
two in the description like an idiot is my video cutting out every now and then I apologize for that how did I fix the mic you'll have to watch the video within Japan is the mic quality good we're wireless I could walk down there live stream and we'll have wireless sound is there popping <coughs> we had a big issue yesterday with popping noises with the pocket three and uh, some of the people try to help me but most of the suggestions didn't help and then you know I was struggling at about five o'clock after work today trying to figure out why the mic wasn't working is the internet struggling is it is it struggling to push it through because that is interesting let me do an internet speed test I don't think it's great oh well, obviously I need to I can't actually do an internet speed test because that's going to only test my phone. It's going to test my Wi-Fi. And I'm not using Wi-Fi. I'm using a hotspot. So hopefully this hotspot is giving you decent quality. Sound has been really good, says Russell. Thanks. So Russell, what do you do with the deer once you recover them? Just like dispose of them in a hum humane manner or something? Do people eat deer meat? Within Japan, are you still out? Are you still out and about in the town in Melbourne? Quite good to see the pocket pocket three doesn't need that much light but i am using quite a bit of light i mean we're not suffering for light here is that more cinematic mood lighting i'm actually not sure what to do with this channel to be quite honest i'm, I'm in the borderline like that's why i always keep saying i don't really make videos anymore because i'm not sure if i should just give up it's uh it's a lot of work to run a youtube channel and not always worth the effort I'd love to hear some suggestions. Maybe some of you out there see my channel and go, you know what you need to do more of? Please give me suggestions because I'd be happy to hear what people want to see. We'd like to see less. We'd like to see less of you. Delete everything. Delete all your videos. Never come back. Oh, the video is shuttering. Yeah, that's, that's, that's unfortunate. Very sorry about that, Dre G Zia. It must be my phone hotspot struggling probably just time of day lots of people watching netflix it's trying to connect so i think this is 4g probably venison is delicious there we go people eat deer venison real munchies will know about that look at his channel name is it badly glitching out the video or is it acceptable should we move it closer to the phone real munchies maybe i should just make the ent this entire channel just about other people's channels so we just go we make the whole channel about other people's channels so every week we, we pick three channels and we go and look at their videos and we just look at what they do yes rtmp at the moment k man hopefully it's working got a bit of motion blur this is a little mouse pad someone made for me she doesn't watch the channel anymore but she asked me if she want if i wanted like some t-shirts so she made me some t-shirts and she threw in a mouse pad so pretty cool let's put that there there we go roast grill munchies dave the sound is good and dave took me like a thousand dollars yesterday would you believe it what a good man the sound is sorted well dave i can't just give away that secret online you'll have to tune into the video why am i looking at the screen you'll have to tune into the video which i'll release just after this live stream and you'll have to watch it i'll tell you how to fix the sound and i'll tell you how to live stream using this from anywhere did you enable face tracking no sir i did not but i can if it makes you happy k man do you want me to put myself in the rule of thirds no suggestions besides roasting people's channels but i don't think we should roast i think we should roast and praise so we go look at people's channels and we kind of go okay that's good that's really good that's funny let me put myself in the rule of thirds here away from my junky desk there there we go pretty good face tracking is enabled now and it's going to keep me in that sort of right hand side of the screen or your left i guess Good to see a couple people joining the stream. 
is the video quality actually sticking through or is it painful to watch we had a couple people viewers which is good really happy about that thank you for joining the channel and I'm watching the comments on the screen so that's good Russell the tracking is pretty amazing face tracking is amazing object tracking not that amazing although there are a few little hacks which I can probably demonstrate if I cancel face tracking let me give you an example okay cancel face tracking and you can just push that thing to the right you see that light I can easily object track that light as you see now if the thing got it does pretty well actually at some stages and it'll lose it eventually but it's weird it's put this huge big black big green bar around that so that's actually not working so well but the face tracking we'll leave that on for now sorry about that this must be making people dizzy roast rake review people's channels would be great I mean I actually like the concept of why make the channel all about me and just make the channel about other channels so maybe you go and you say the five best my five mm, five channels of five of my subscribers that I want to subscribe to or something like that that's a stupid idea I'm sorry I said that but let's say five channels this is hard putting me on the spot now to think of an idea but maybe like five channels that should have 10,000 subscribers and then I go and find those subscribe I find those channels in my subscribers and it's kind of like a benefit of being a subscriber to this channel is that I, I kind of try and help other people's channels grow I mean you never heard that on YouTube right what's the purpose of your channel five best micro channels there we go so it's only about your channel like well it's not about your channel it's only about other people and promoting other people's stuff but in the same way making funny content about other people like showing where they're going wrong like and you at the same time you're uh, highlighting other people's content because maybe other people are just doing fantastic jobs and you're just like why is this guy only got 300 subscribers and he's doing such good work haven't you reviewed in the past a few years ago or was that my imagination dave i did i had always run uh, sort of basically the dj pocket one pocket two and then i did a lot of vi video editing stuff which did pretty well let me know if you want me to do like just video editing because that's also interesting i could show you a lot of stuff along the way but then you'd have to convert to davinci resolve which to me is the best video editing software it's got some quirks but once you get the hang of it it's not always about the the software itself you know but it's about the little tricks of how do you make this scene better and then I can show that to people. I think people would be interested in that. Maybe we do one video about cameras, one editing video, and one video talking about other people's channels, like my subscribers, not just some random. You need to be a subscriber of this channel. And then we go and pick random people. We laugh at them a little bit, just a little. And then we, we also say, wow, but look at this good work he's done. His sound is excellent. He talks to the camera so well. You can Gordon Ramsay my channel anytime, roast away. Within Japan, it'll be my honor. You make so much content though, so that you're basically an expert. We need someone who's like not as good as you at, at YouTube. You're basically an expert, let's be honest. Is the face tracking annoying though? Like if you're sort of going around, is it making people dizzy? Because I can see the, the face tracking thing. Hey, Sam Town 2002 is in the house. Sam Town, do you think it's time to change your name to Sam Town? 2023 or is that too much to ask classic example of someone i could i could go and look at his channel that's provided he's a man but sam town sounds like a man's name going well sam and thank you for joining the stream face tracking is good it is very good isn't it it's just sticky within japan and sam town are actually friends i believe or they at least watch Good to see we got 15 people. Anyone in the comments have any suggestions for this channel? I'd love to have some ideas of different things that I could do in my channel that you might enjoy. Or should I just carry on making the same nonsense I've been making? I've actually got some interesting camera stuff that's been sent for once. Some, some things I'm quite excited about. Samtown 2002. Just get rid of the 2002 part, I say. 
My friend, I don't know what language that is, but I appreciate it. Whatever you're saying there, he's got, he's got the double piece. Inglés. Knitting with How To Guy. Yeah, those videos would do fantastic. <clears throat> Just good to see some people joining the stream. Just waiting for Within Japan to send me a big tip. I know he's loaded. I think that's like, uh, what language is that? 2002 is the year I was born. Wow. 2002. Wow. I like your picture of the train there. Pretty cool. I would love to see how your special effects are done, like your UFOs and sharks, etc. Dave Mapstone, I'm going to try add some. Maybe, like, maybe I should just do editing videos. Honestly, when I was doing editing videos, they were doing way better than my Pocket 3 videos. Isn't that funny, eh? I do, I do the, the weird videos, like my pocket videos, and all these silly things that I do, because I enjoy those edits. But I know that if I just did editing videos, just the Vinci Resolve, didn't care about anything else, I know the channel would grow much quicker. That's a fact. There we go, Fangaroo, you remember the alien crash? We might have to bring that alien crash again. Make it a weekly thing, he crashes every week. At, at some time during each video, the alien crashes can't grab my wallet on the tram damn nice one hating life is in he's always been a, a big supporter of this channel the clue is definitely in the name how do you do stuff how to do stuff yeah maybe i should just do how to's you can even do random joke crap for youtube shorts to get more people in like how to roll dice i mean that's a good point I, i've got this i've got a lot of ideas but it's just time sometimes you know I like that idea though from hating life because you could do a lot with just how to so if you called how to guy maybe i should change my name to how to not guy i think the live stream somebody will correct me in the live stream doc moto vlog thanks for joining is that a scooter on your profile photo i can't see a vespa it is limited to 1080p i believe but somebody's going to answer within japan will tell me straight away because he, he does live stream a lot i think it's 1080p limited isn't the image quality good enough? Are you, is anyone watching this on a 4K TV and finding that it's not good? He doesn't miss the lawn mowing videos. Ah, that's unfortunate. Sadly, those lawn mowing videos, maybe if I'd carried on going, they would have done pretty well. You know, you change your whole viewer to the lawn mowing crowd. You know, those 50 year olds that like lawn mowing. Quality is bad, he says. Oh, that's interesting. Fern Sebastian was better before. It might be my internet. I'm, I'm hoping that uh, it gets better. Sorry about that. This phone, I'm, I'm streaming off my phone at the moment. It's the only, th the only way this is gonna work. Whoa, image quality sucks today. It looks less than 480p. What's going on? I chose the right setting. I chose good quality. That's unfortunate. Is it still bad? It's okay, 1080p on a 4K monitor. Yeah, 1080p is fine. Quality is fluctuating. I, I apologize, guys. I'm meeting with Japan on Saturday. Good stuff, Sam. I hope you guys have a nice beer or something. Your image is amazing. The end must be them. Oh, I don't know about that. My image going out. If my phone's not good enough, and it's not sending out a good picture, it's gonna just cut your quality. Because YouTube will just go, well, this guy's not giving us enough data. So it just cuts you to 720p momentarily, hopefully, and then gets back up. Mobile looks super crispy, hating life. Maybe you guys need to upgrade your internet. Stop complaining about me. The quality is good for me. Just occasional video shutter, stutter. It's probably always going to be like that fangaroo. I think that's just... Whoa. I'm getting an ad on my video how funny is that look at this i'm watching ads making myself money while live streaming huh if you listen carefully you can hear my genius <laughs> that's a bad jeremy clarkson joke <clears throat> streaming is about upload speed 100 percent correct and I can only do 20 megabits per second upload speed, but this might be limited with just how many internet bars I'm getting at the moment. 
it's not great maybe if I put the phone somewhere else it'll be a little bit better just let me know I apologize for the video just got nice okay Russell said it got better quality is okay picture stutters I apologize guys or maybe I need to up my plan how are you guys all finding YouTube like I don't really uh, always like talking about myself do you guys have any plans or are you just more like consumers of YouTube you don't really in Poland the quality is excellent there are minimal stutters but overall image quality is good although after two minutes the quality dropped Oof, Michael Berger are you Polish interesting you must be Polish right just wondering what's your name how to guy <laughs> the less you know the better <clears throat> Furbenstein is that by LTE uh, I don't know uh, don't think this is LTE this is a Samsung S21 Ultra maybe if I hold it above my head it'll be better is it better yeah I've only got I've only got two bars so it's surprised this thing's even working at all to be quite honest let me put it over there Oh, I went down to one bar. Oh, it must be bad quality now. I start a new channel every few years and then I seem to give up the 10 minute video mark. You mean the 10,000 subs mark? I gave up at 10,000 subs myself. YouTube is better than watching that depressing news of the world. That's true, Russell. At least you get some kind of characters, you know, camera conspiracies is out. I like watching him, you know. I'm using Wi-Fi. <clears throat> to connect to the pocket 3 the pocket 3 via is using my hotspot on my phone to connect to 4g i think it i don't think it's 5g oh the internet i'm only on one bar how is this even working on one bar that is that is depressing one bar <clears throat> i recently went traveling to prague and berlin to make some extra vids and both me and my friend were just feeling either place weren't feeling either place haha ha. so new vids won't be ha happening for me anytime hating life you get around <clears throat> w weren't you from from new zealand uh so sam town does trains sam how many subs have you got now are you growing <clears throat> within japan says i learned the bars is in signal strength it's the distance from the dish from the dish you're using well now I've got three distance to the dish so maybe it's working is there any cutouts in the video hopefully the audio is good you'll have to watch my video on how I did this see what I'm doing here building hype the next video that'll come the video will come out straight after this live stream and hopefully you'll enjoy it 380 subs for Sam classic example of someone we can help we can go to his channel one day look what he's doing give him suggestions because I I'm sure there's a lot more people than 380 people in the world that want to watch trains it's like plane spotting it's a huge thing Tom Scott did a video on phone bars I'll check it out within Japan where is the sounds coming from hi from the Philippines doc motor vlogs we finally fixed the wireless sound which means you can walk around now wirelessly connected far away from the pocket and uh, <clears throat> you've got pretty good sound but you'll have to watch the video on how we did it I know that's a troll thing to say but this is about you know getting the channel a bit of UK oh, hating life from the UK that's where he gets that sarcasm from that British sarcasm that British humor we all love I'm glad to see your new stuff and interactions I've I have to bounce sending good vibes hating life thanks for stopping by <clears throat> you're going home now you're going to the pub I assume he uses I use a phone XR and DJI action cam for you for YouTube nothing wrong with that have you thought of getting like a handy cam a handy cam for your for your uh, uh, train spotting because that's a pretty you can get some different focal lengths with that and you get 4k I'll do a review on one of my handy cams it's amazing yesterday's video that I shot about the police Sam town was all shot on that handy cam go look at the quality on that handy cam 
and you can zoom in, zoom out, you can go almost a thousand millimeters. He's going to drink tea, ah, typical British, tea with a spot of beer on the side, a double pint as they say. Hello love, give me a double pint. So what phone are you using, Sam Town? We've got a couple people join the stream. Sam needs to connect it to his wheelchair, that's right. <laughs> Good that we had eight we've got 18 people watching vip voltage and i think that's fpv droney he used to be called fpv droney i could be wrong let me know vip voltage if i'm right on that uh dave maps i wish i spent my money on on a handy cam instead of the canon r7 damn it i'll just show you the handy cam <clears throat> so you want to do you want to do train spotting or you want to do whatever Dave Mapstone does you just want a general camera every day you want to get one of these this is what you want a Panasonic 4k HV HC VXF1 although I think in the US and other countries like Europe it's got a slightly different model name but I'll put it on the screen if you want to search that model it's not got a huge sensor but just watch this bang it's got a little cover it's got optical image stabilization. Look at that. It'll close off. It's just brilliant, this thing. It's got an eyepiece. You've got an amazing little screen. Look at that. And you've got a crazy zoom on this thing. Look at that. And it's stable. Can you... Is this good content? Look at that zoom. Okay, it's, it's going to struggle, but... This thing goes... 600 millimeters optical zoom 676 optical zoom and look how small it is and i know you look like a, an old dad holding one of these things like your old dad used to have when you were growing up but this thing plain spotting you put it on a tripod it's so stable it's almost as stable as a gimbal and handheld you can even handheld it it's so stable you know it's got funky buttons it's got a wireless microphone what more do you need well let me get to the comments Sammy needs a handy cam, I say. Ah, oh, the screen. Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. Good day, good day. The O Show. Good day, good day. Hey, we've got an Aussie in the house. Only the Aussies would say good day, good day. The O Show. I, I would love to check your channel. If there was a way I could click his channel name now and see what he does, but I don't think I can. With this, no. Tea and beer. Yes. I'm not sure what that guy's name is, but thanks for, for joining this. Uh, Beyond Paranormal, does it have night vision? Ooh. There's a night mode. Ooh. I'd have to double check that. I, I don't think it's going to do great in low light. But as a day camera, as a daily thing, and even shooting YouTube videos or even vlogging, I'll do a review on this thing and I'll show you the image quality. But if you want a sneak peek at the image quality, the last video that I did about the cops was all filmed with that little thing and you can see it's pretty sharp it shoots 4k what about the battery for this old camera do you still they still do make batteries i ordered one from panasonic look at this no nonsense with the dji pocket 3 right bang battery removed and you just put i've got two of these they don't last that long you only get like an hour and 10 minutes per battery but you have two of them in your bag and you're good to go and this thing will never overheat actually amazing i've just been using this and look let me show you that product showcase mode wireless microphone and there is audio monitoring and big spot for an sd card you've got hdmi out so if you had an external monitor you could mount that it's got a little horseshoe mount this thing's brilliant built-in speaker so if you want to play back your sound everything and the most amazing image stabilization affiliate link in the description <laughs> hey Mauro hi HTG hello from Portugal Portugal that's like my second country the Portuguese love me I'm one twelfth Portuguese the Osho you have to wake up and mod and then we can drop our link haha <clears throat> pocket 2 is still the best the Pocket 2 is going to be better in low light, but I assure you, Japan, this thing, 
you cannot get the zoom ever the optical zoom that you get from this 4k camcorder with almost any camera out there i, I guarantee you this thing it's so stable it's got built-in optical immobilization leica leica lenses on the front it's just for its i mean i know it's a little bit older technology but it's still amazing is this the cam you in the focal length review on ages ago where you were zooming out to people on the dock dave mapstone i remember that video and yes that's the one with the focal length so you can see the quality and i didn't shoot like obviously that was really really far away those guys on the dock i need to explain that's like a hundred meters away hello maro from portugal that that was really really far away and even just to get we could kind of make out the people's faces with that thing just amazing quality i'm pretty sure it was this camera it might have been the sony rx10 but this will do almost the same quality as a sony rx10 it doesn't have a one inch sensor but it's pretty close what's the weight sam town it weighs more than the pocket but ah what's the weight 500 grams maybe 500 grams <clears throat> how do you travel you just travel man you go to japan with this thing within japan wants to know this is this is small you put it in your backpack and bang you see something interesting really far away down and you zoom up you zoom 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 and you're at 20x so that's 25 millimeters times 20x i can't do the math what's that 400 millimeters you keep going 92x 92 multiplied by 25 mil do that math that's like 2000 millimeters yes old man i'll prove to you that that camera is better than most cameras out there portugal greetings from russia ah oh, he's russian good man i thought that might have been russian or czech or something <clears throat> not as big as the old ones no this is the micro version and it's got 4k just amazing shoots 4k 30 frames per second you can't go to 60 frames per second but you can do 1080p but the, this camera the main selling point behind this camera is it's got everything you need the three main selling points are you've got optical zoom in this thing incredible stabilization you would not believe if i'm walk if i'm hand walking this with and vlogging it's extremely stable you'd think it's a gimbal right image quality not bad not not as quite as good as the pocket 3 but very very close for a small sensor plus the pocket 3 cannot optically zoom 600 millimeters now why is that important most people are, well, i don't need a zoom you do if you're out somewhere walking and you saw a jet ski you'll get that jet ski and it'll be such a nice shot and people go wow you did that with the pocket you can't do that with the pocket 3 you can't get a jet ski right in the frame in detail see the guy's face perfectly what cams do you use at the moment for youtube to go cam for making youtube content vip voltage uh, i've been using the pocket 3 and this thing and sony zv e10 but i don't use that much what model camcorder is that real munchies i don't think that this is available in the uk but it's the hc vxf1 you might need to search hc vxf1 they go for 950 Australian dollars, probably like 600 quid. What an amazing little handy cam. And look, you've even, I don't use this, but if you want, you can have a little eye thing. I mean, look at that. You know, if you're one of those people, it's got a little, uh, you know, yeah. I love, I love that thing. I just love old stuff like that. I've been working mostly on the DJI Action 2 combo with low light sucks. Yeah, VIP voltage, Action 2, I don't know. Action 1 was okay back in the day, but I think, I think the Action 4 is much better. I'd still buy the Pocket 3 before I bought the Action 4. They're different cameras. You're very down to earth. Thank you, Mauro. Your YouTube style is different from the rest and really deliver a funny and informative content. I can only see your channel growing. Mauro, I don't know about that. I've been here a long time and it's never grown, but I appreciate that. It's sometimes a nice person like that, like Mauro, who says, well, maybe I should keep going. But then sometimes you wake up and you put a video and it only gets like 800 views and, you know, in the first couple hours and you're just like, this sucks. Why am I doing this? The compact cameras have really bad battery life. I mean, that's true. I'm not saying this thing's got good battery life. You need two batteries, maybe even three batteries. And that's one downside to this camera. This is a gen genuine 
a Panasonic battery and it won't let you use any other knockoff batteries it just doesn't work and they're very expensive $140 or $160 per battery it's crazy and look the screen is a little bit clunky I don't know if you can see the screen settings let me just show you a little bit if I push that button on the menu it's a bit old school like I look like an old man now don't I I'll click menu and you can see what the menu looks like and then there's your record settings over there will this work it's not the best touch screen and then there's arrow buttons I mean that is old school but as all your settings are there all your video quality your stability settings is it going look at that menu you've got a whole bunch of stuff and it takes photos you can set your zoom you can set active contrast it's a pretty interesting little camera yes sir you can mount this on a tripod tripod mount on the bottom you know what they use these things for plane spotting you'll see if you go to the airport on a Sunday morning Sam you'll see a couple of guys with one of these things and they're filming planes and why because most people who film planes they use a tripod with an extremely big fluid head I know this because I did it for a little while and they use a big fluid head that's the one found the HCVX1 600 I said 600 quid right I think it's worth it I just find it a good little camera so I mean real munchies you, you you're quite cashed up so you, if, if you don't like the camera don't blame me but it's pretty good you can mount it on a tripod got a tripod thread most of my train spotting friends use those handy cams there we go I mean you can use a like a Panasonic uh, a Sony uh, F what do you call it Sony RX10 would be another good option or you need to now this is the or if you really want good quality you either got to buy that handy cam for planes or you've got to buy the RX10 Sony I had that one too or you've got to buy a Sony uh, Sony uh, not the FX3 that's not good that hasn't got any stability the Sony uh, I can't remember the name now A7S3 and then you need to buy a 600 mil lens which is a thousand four hundred dollars just to get 600 mil zoom and if you're lucky you're gonna get a little bit of a digital crop and you might get to 800 mil this thing will go easily to 800 mil and the quality is just possible at 800 to a thousand once you go beyond a thousand it gets a little bit softer because then it's actually cropping in on the sensor I think from like 800 millimeters you're starting to crop on the sensor so you can still get relatively good quality once you go beyond a thousand two hundred millimeters which is really far pretty far that's when it starts looking a bit shoddy <clears throat> there we go can't pick up too much weight fair enough Sam I mean I get it and that's maybe the pocket 3 is the one you want to get it's pretty light come on I'll buy the man a beer there we go very nice true Bartarian is in the house he's been uh, watching this channel a little while now did the uh, is the image still uh, sort of knocking in and out the whole time real munchies if you're not cashed up then I wouldn't suggest you go and spend 600 quid so Nadesh you're in the house Nadesh has been watching my channel probably from the beginning this is streaming Nadesh no it's not streaming I just knew you were gonna watch so I said your name during my recording and I edited it in and look at you now I'm just kidding true Bartarian is in the house he's a man of few words every time he, he leaves me a comment he just goes nice video and then that's it he's just like good video and then he watches my next one and he goes nice video Gecko Quest, he's been watching the channel a long time too, and I appreciate it, Gecko. Good to see you joined. Sam, I live. Sam, I live near the train station. There we go. Very close. I don't want to give away my location, but I live near a train station. You might even hear the trains going sometimes, like at night time. But it's very boring. Dave, you don't have to do that. Where's Dave? How do I refund Dave? Where is the refund? 23 people watching the stream. Excellent. Uh, I never thought there'd be 23 people. Dave, I really appreciate that. You know how expensive housing is in Australia? Do you know how much more my mortgage costs a week? My gosh. Dave, where are you from? You, you just didn't say. You, we were kind of trying to figure out where you were from. Is there a specific setting for the streaming? I'm only shooting 1080p normal color profile minus one is the sound good because I'm going to explain in my video that I'm going to release how I got wireless sound 
and by that I mean you can move this thing and we can you can still hear me right we've got wireless sound is the sounds excuse me hiccups he's from Sydney okay house prices in Sydney are even worse than Brisbane so Sam I might need to send that money back to you <laughs> what do you do for a living Sam wireless sorry I'm knocking the mic apologies Real Munchies, I haven't got any cash to spend, but still looking at stuff. Real Munchies, if you want to walk around, travel around Europe, use the Pocket 3 because it's going to give you nice shots. But if you want to get a little bit further, like let's say you see a, a, a guy standing you know, outside a castle and you want to get a shot of him. It's a bit weird to film some random person, but that's when you'd use this to zoom in. Or you saw a boat quite far away. You're at London Bridge and there's a boat. You know going through the river thames that's when you'd use that zoom and that's where this thing would come in handy and it's stable vip voltage do you still have drones to form content i'm planning to buy sjrc f1 pros gps you have to check that drone it's priced at 224 euro 4k cam two axis gimbal 120 wide angle lens wow i need to check that out vip voltage can you leave that in a comment on one of my videos so i can go and check that thing out the, the thing is, right, it might be a good idea to, to test really cheap stuff on this channel. Like, find the cheapest drone and see how good it is. And if we can't find the, ch the cheapest one, we go a little bit higher. Let's say you spend $150 on a drone. Is it as good as a Mini 3? No. Or an Air 3? It's not going to be as good. But maybe how far, what's the difference, you know, between a DJI Air 3 and a cheaper, you know, 400, probably huge, probably a huge difference. But, you know, a Kmart drone, is, as Sam says. And it's interesting, there's a company that this product is already out. And I've been wanting to get my hands on the specific product. I don't want to mention the product because I want the peop you people to be excited when you watch the video. But they're sending me a product that I'm very excited about. It is a drone, but it'll suit what I do on this channel very well. Armani Media. Thank you for joining. Gecko Quest says, good idea. I agree. Cheap stuff. So we buy the cheapest action camera we can find. And then we compare it against the Action 4. I don't have an Action 4, but we, you know, we do things like that. Uh, we, we buy a cheap gimbal if we can find one. And we compare it to the Pocket 3. Or we compare this thing against the Pocket 3. And you'll be surprised. This will hold up. This thing will hold up against almost any camera. Even that little ZV-E10. This is the pretty much well-known ZV-E10 that you can buy if you wanted a relatively good quality APS-C sensor. Everyone knows this camera. It's got a detachable lens. There's your APS-C sensor. This is a pretty good camera, 1,100 Australian dollars. Stability is never that good, but if you wanted a studio camera, this would be fine. It's got a really shitty lens on it but you can get different lenses APS-C and you got more of a crop because you got 1.5 crop on this this is a pretty good camera ZV-E10 they are expensive a thousand two hundred dollars now if you compare this thing right the thousand two hundred dollars to this thing it doesn't it's not that much different this has got better autofocus slightly better sharpness obviously it's APS-C this has got a tiny sensor 1 over 2.5 it's not even a one inch sensor the Pocket 3, the Pocket 1 had a bigger sensor than this camera, but it still shoots amazing. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my eyes are broken. Not a guy or a castle, but maybe if I saw a lovely lady in the distance. There we go. Real Munchies has got the, the idea. Gecko's loving this. <clears throat> Gecko Quest, where are you from? Every time I see your name, it's, it's there. It's a nice, you've got a nice logo. G-Q-U. Where are you from? classic example would be let's go look at Ge gecko quest channel right we just highlight some people's videos we look at what they do it might be boring and no one will watch but does the pocket 3 gimbal lock for filming trains and stuck and stuck on train window i wouldn't stick it on any train you can do that you know i just wouldn't stick it on anything that vibrates i just don't think that's good for the gimbal like even walking you put that on you could walk with it but it's awkward you got this little head here the whole time and yes, you can lock the gimbal head, but you have to hold the button, I think. Or you can do a rise and lock on the gimbal modes. 
Real munchies, I'll do the uh, camcorder versus the P3. The camcorder, I can tell you now, is not going to do as well in low light. But in daylight, this is obviously going to smash the zoom because this doesn't have a zoom. It's got digital zoom. There we go. Within Japan knows Sam and knows what he needs. So that's good. Yes, action camera would be best if you're going to mount it onto anything. My Australian friend, I have to go see you later. VIPods, nice to see you live sometimes. Later, alligator. There we go. VIP voltage. I think that's FPV Droney. He changes his name so much. He's like a, he's like a mysterious dude. You never know where he is. Walking with it is the pain in the ass, actually. I mean, so you say mounting it on yourself is better than you walking with this thing mounted. You might as well buy an action camera. Get the uh, Action 4. Because I thought the whole point of the pocket was either vlogging or if you wanted to sort of film something really smoothly and you got this like gun-like thing in your hand. There we go. He's got prohibit sessions of our government. I have to sell my quad copper from DJI Mav Mavic Air. I loved it so much, although the video quality is not very good. Interesting that you say the Air 2 isn't that good. I thought the Air 2 quality was quite good. I'm sorry to hear that the Russians are making you sell it. Putin, what's wrong with you, man? Let the man keep his camera. Gecko Quest. VIP Voltage says adios. Really good to see quite a lot of people join the stream. We've been going for quite a long time. Well, we had 90 people view it and we still got 21 people. So uh, he's got the Air 2S. The Air 2S is really good. Uh, I wanted to get that drone just because of the waypoints. I had so many ideas for waypoints that I could use for my channel. Uh, some of you might know what I'm talking about, but Dave, thank you for that tip earlier. You don't have to do that. What do you do, Dave? Are you a tradie? Money's like, no, no object. Got a lot of cash jobs. I did change after four years because I started a new channel. I'm going to do a new channel. I'm going to do lots of content on China cheap. There we go. He's stolen my idea, VIP Voltage. He's stolen my idea. <laughs> Peli Pan, will you sell your pocket too now or keep it? Well, Peli, good question. I mean, in this economy, I probably should sell it, but I mean, <clears throat> Sam, your dad bought the X3 Insta360. Interesting. I've got the one inch version of that, which is very expensive and maybe not as worth buying. It's okay. Air 2S is better. I've forgotten the last question that someone asked. Will I sell my Pocket 2? Ah, I probably have to keep it for comparisons. And Timothy Dowd, my Pocket 3 hasn't arrived yet on the island of Tenerife. Interesting. I primarily go live about 60 minutes. Is this capable on the street or you do need an extra MiFi? Do I need an extra MiFi? Do you mean like Wi-Fi? Well, I'm, I'm going to release a video shortly after this explaining a lot of the things you need to know, Timothy. You'll be very interested in watching that video. I'm going to go a little quick in that video, but if you watch it more than once, you should pick up all the stuff because I go quite fast explaining all the little steps so you can live stream anywhere. Hopefully that'll help you. I'm going to get on and do some work now. Good to catch up. You mean you're going to go drink beer? Cheers, real munchies. I love it when the people in the UK say they're going to go do some work. They mean go to the pub and drink beer. VIP Volts, I'm going to do it in Germany, so no worries. Oh, I'm targeting the German. Ah, are you German? Ah, das ist gut, yeah. Peli Pan, looking forward to your comparison between the Handycam and the Pocket 3. Can you imagine the thumbnail? <laughs> Handycam on the right side of the thumbnail and then the pocket three on this side and like which one's best no one's gonna watch it <laughs> looking forward to the comparison with the handicam there we go looking for wow these comments are jumping around i'm gonna do it in germany i don't know what's going on with my screen at the moment my comments no dutch i speak german but he speaks very good german okay so he's dutch ah fpv droney that's why he used to call himself droney because that's a very Dutch thing to say. Anything with IE at the end is very Dutch. Sehr gut. Yeah. The Germans are in the house. Phone cam versus Pocket 3. I mean, I've got a, a Galaxy S21. But I tell you right now, the Galaxy is not going to do as well as the Pocket 3. For certain situations. Timothy Dowd. I know I need the Mimo app. I'm looking forward to your next video. New subscriber. Thanks, Timothy. Timothy Dowd, what is the L 
WMST stand for? Long way might send T. Square selfie drone versus pocket three. Jeez, people have got good ideas about verses. Within Japan, tip two LOL, account executive for a software company. I watched a video on the morality of ad blocking ads and decided to make myself feel better. I will tip the creators instead. Wow, good man. Thank you. I mean, not many people tip these days, so it's, it's good to see. Cheers, VIP. Elijah T, I, I try tip when I have some money, you know, if I, but not much, not $10. I can give you that much. I mean, like $3 is my max. If I, I scroll right to the top, where's the lowest? Okay, $5 if I have to. Living with MS in Tenerife. Is that MS as in the unfortunate disease MS? The Air 2 has a small sensor in low light, for example, in the evening there is too much noise on the video. Doesn't the Air 2 have, well the Air 2S, are they, are they different or is it the same thing? Air 2S is the new one, they've got that night mode with that noise reduction and pushes you up to like 16,000 ISO, right? I tipped, thanks Japan, you did tip me once back in 2001. I can now color grade in the light cut app. I was in template mode and I didn't realize to color grade you press adjust the turn it on that simple. Nick the Gardener, I can now color grade in a light cut app. I was in template mode, I didn't realize to color grade you press adjust turn it on. Oh, nice, not sure what you're referring to. Nick, thanks a lot for that comment. Nick the Gardener has been checking this channel out. I assume you're a gardener. Everyone else should match me. <laughs> oh, you tipped as well? Wow, thanks. I didn't see that. Within Japan. Very good. I better find a tip here. I can't even see. Oh, you did. Revenue. Within Japan. I'll send it back to you on your next video. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And Dave from Sydney. Dave, when you're moving to the real best city in Australia, we all know it's Brisbane. <laughs> ah, my wife has MS. We retired 10 years ago from Bavaria. We show life in Tenerife and I, I have 8,000 followers. Excellent job. MS is a terrible thing, I've heard. And I wish your wife all the best and hopefully she's not in too much strife because that is no fun. Multiple sclerosis. I knew a few people that had that. Sorry to hear that, Timothy Dowd. But hopefully she's in good spirits. Within Japan, yeah, I'm saying everyone must match my tip. What kind of subscribers do you think I have? Bris Vegas, yes. Brisbane's actually quite nice. I mean, we're close to the ocean, right? We're just one hour north during the Sunshine Coast. One and a half hours for me. Now you know where I live, roughly. SSDD, same shit, different day. I like that. No Air 2S, Air 2. There we go. Air 2S, very good. Air 2, not that good. And I mean, the Air 2S has waypoints, which really, I really like the waypoints. You can kind of get some cool shots and without actually flying the thing, which I like. I like that idea. Your subs are amazing and generous and poor. <laughs> Except Dave and... and Alles <laughs> good, Timothy. Yeah, all the, the, all the natal on the... Uh, Mensa is here, yeah, oil, oil, lacquer, lacquer. <clears throat> Gecko Quest, I think I asked you where you're from, but you never answered me. This has been a good live stream. I, I enjoy live streaming because I, I like reading people's comments. Well, we've got 106 people through the door today, which is quite impressive, I'd say. Using I, I, what I can only say is very good sound. Wireless sound on the Pocket 3, you'll have to tune into the video to see how we fixed the external mic. You can't actually do live stream at the moment using the external mic, not that I can see. Wife is barbarian, Dunker. There we go, barbarian wife. Do you think DJI should make the camera track the location of the microphone so you can track anything wearing it? Huh. Nick, you always got interesting questions. Like really like out there. Like, what if the camera was, like, over and we were under? He's always got, like, 
existential, what's the word, existentic. Brilliant question. Do you think DJI should make the camera track the location of the microphone so you could track anything wearing it? That's actually a brilliant idea, you know? I mean, I don't know why they don't do that with drones, right? You've got your control and you want people to do active track and then DJI is trying to keep this guy by reading the sensor in the middle. Why don't they just track the damn drone like the Skydio does? And that's what Nick meant. It took me a while to get there, but he's right. Nick, I've got another camera coming which might interest you since you're a gardener. I think you'll, you'll be interested in this camera, Nick. He's a cowboy, mate. Oh, Nick, are you, are you Australian as well? I think you are. Should DJI and GoPro make a proper compact camera? I heard Sony's going to make a drone. I mean, sorry. I heard Sony might be making like a little compact DJI type thing. That's going to be interesting. I mean, they make all the sensors. No external mic. Well, I'm using an external mic and I've gotten it right, but you'll be able to do it using this, this particular method. However, the one that you buy does not work that well. There's a lot of crackling issues with that microphone when you buy the DJI 2 mic. However, if you're going to buy the, that combo set for the Pocket 3, I would recommend getting that mic because it's actually very good. But it's only good when you're just doing normal video and shooting with it. When you connect it using live streaming, there's too much interference or something going on. So there you go, Timothy. Nick's from, oh, he's from England. Okay, you're, you're, you're just, okay, cool. Good to see another Englishman in the, in the house. Sorry about the cricket, but don't worry, it looks like South Africa is getting kicked out as well. Even though I live in Australia, obviously my accent. South Africa looks like they're losing against Australia. I saw a doco, Sam, that GoPro is dead as the company, so I see them going, yeah. Sam Town, it's South African accent. Mixed with a bit of Australian, I guess, now. I've been here a long time. Action 4 is outrageously good compared to the pro, says Dave Matstone. Had the three first, so so bad in low light, but great cam. Nice to see what Sony can do. It'll be interesting to see if Sony release a gimbal action or some kind of action cam one inch sensor, because they'll be competing with the Pocket 3 then, which has done a pretty darn good job with this camera. I mean, I'm shooting 1080p normal color profile and it looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, you can even digital crop it a little bit. I think I'm not even shooting the full sensor. What kind of a, a monkey am I? There we go. That's the full sensor now. So now you're actually getting full 1080p, not cropped in like I was. Christine is calling. See you on the next one. See you, Timothy. Yeah, South African sounds a mix of British and Kiwi. That's right. Although Kiwis like to say things like, uh, how do they always, um, dick? <laughs> Sony ZV series killed by the Pocket 4. I mean, there's always going to be, this ZV-10 is going to be better image quality than the Pocket 3. Even the kit lens will give you slightly sharper, better image. That's fact. I've tested them both. It's close, but, and then you can get new lenses. You can't do that on the Pocket 3, right? You can't do a removable lens. You could get a 16 millimeter, which be like a 24 millimeter with a crop, and it's going to be sharp, a prime lens. And yes, you've got to pay money. To get that you know it's going to cost you like eight hundred dollars australian and then you need like a 20 mil lens this is just the pancake kit lens which is not the best aperture a new zealand dick ad is so funny yep they've got a funny accent the old kiwis but we love them right they would say that about us too right our accent's weird so nick the garden is from the uk what are you shooting on nick what's your main camera Let's face it, the ZV series is really a blogger cam. Yeah, within Japan, I agree with that. It's not a vlogging camera. Yeah. But as a, as a studio thing, if you had some lighting, you'd do a pretty good job with that camera. And uh, if you had like, you know, if you just wanted to like film talking head videos, that Sony's going to do a fantastic job. And even if you wanted to do B-roll for your channel, Stick the camera, you know, walk somewhere and do a little walk shot. If you go check one of my last videos, the DJI Pocket 3 vlog, that, that video was shot, the intro where I did the David Attenborough thing on that, that, that was shot on that camera. So you can see the quality, it's pretty good. 
There we go, Sam Town's dad is from New Zealand. Does he still have the accent? DJI Pocket 3 now had a crappy 11 inch tablet, which was awful. Yeah, once you move on to a, a proper camera. Although, I mean, the cell phones are really doing good jobs now. If you, if you compare the Apple 15, sorry, the iPhone 15 to the Pocket 3, I saw some comparisons, it's very close. However, the guy wasn't using low light mode. I don't know, the one test that I saw, the guy was kind of cheating. He wasn't on low light mode on the Pocket 3, and then he was like, ah, oh, it's, look, it's darker. So, uh, thinking of getting the Action 4. Nick, the Action 4 is very good, I've heard. I, I didn't test it myself, but you'd be impressed with that camera, I think. Within Japan's got one, he loves it. Big problem is stabilization. The field of view on the ZV, I hardly used mine, and it was not worth the buy. He's right. That is the problem with these cameras, and that's why I said it's a studio camera, or a it's a camera that you put down somewhere. That's the problem with mirrorless cameras. I saw that Sony have released the, uh, what's that, A93, and it shoots 120 frames. It's got a global shutter, right? And then I saw some guy, he got the camera, and he was testing. He's like, look how stable it does nine. It's got nine steps or whatever stability. And he filmed like a basketball scene, and it was so shaky, I couldn't watch it. And I'm thinking, this is the best stability that Sony's got at the moment. So you basically need a gimbal. Sam has the action for. Oh, Sam bought a, got a good camera then. There we go. His action isn't strong, but some words are Kiwi. My auntie is Brizzy. She has it full. There we go. If Sony made half decent software, then sure, but it's a pain. Okay, gentlemen, I think this has been a very long live stream. We're almost an hour, and I think an hour is a long time for anyone to do a live stream. And actually... We still got people watching, which is very interesting. We had two people tip within Japan and Dave Townsend, really, Dave Mapstone, I believe it is. Nick the Gardener, can you turn down the gimbal speed? Yes, sir, you can, although it doesn't do that much of a good job. Hi, thank you for the stream. Kath Manep, why are you only commenting now? We had a whole stream. You should have said hi earlier, and then I could have had a, had a chat to you. No longer. Imprezios Fey, have you been also sitting there for a long time? 66 minutes on the stream is a long time. Who's my favorite YouTuber? Who do I really enjoy? I like watching Rue's reviews. You, you will know him. Most people know his channel. He's very good. I like Casey from Camera Conspiracies. I always watch his stuff because he's just different and funny. And, you know, he feels it like it is. I like Marcus Picks. He loves handy cams and web and, and stuff like this. And I like the way he just gets to the point. And yeah, I mean, that's as big, big channels go. I mean, I like myself a little young 360. She's good. Marcus is great. There we go. Real groove. I like Marcus too. Marcus used to actually work in Hollywood a very long time ago. He knows his stuff. I just like the way he gets to it. And I like that he likes handy cams because I've always liked handy cams you know, camcorders. And he just goes on. He actually has the 1 over 2.3 inch sensor version of this. Looks almost identical. It's got a slightly like a 5, 10% bigger sensor. And he keeps going, this is the best camera. This is the best camera. Yeah. 3H Norm. I really think we, uh, I have the A7C. That's a good little full frame camera and the GoPro 11 today. And I would like to sell GoPro and buy Action 4. I think you'll be do. Out of all those cameras, you'd want the Action 4. Depending on what you're doing, if you're doing like action-y type stuff, Action 4. I wouldn't buy GoPro. No offense to the Americans in the house, but I'd probably get the, the just for price. I think the GoPro is more expensive. 3H Norm, Chris Broad and Sam Chewy are good. Sam Chewy is very good. I know him. I'm not sure who Chris Broad is, but I'm sure he's a good, good channel. Handycam in 3023 is relevant, would be interesting. Speaking of field of view, I have been using GoPro with super view, says Katzmanep. Do you think I'd miss anything? Because I don't think Osmo has the same view fisheye optional, does it? It's got a wide angle lens. I might just show you. Sorry, I'm coming back. Okay. So I might as well show people when they ask things, right? Get it out the way. So this is your standard 20 mil lens. And let's just get some reference so you can see. Do you see the how-to guy? 
whatever mouse pad over there the only difference you're going to get is 15 mils do you see it's not a huge difference you're going to lose a little bit of quality not too much but notice the fish eye that it adds do you see that roundness and i'll take it off so you can see back to 20 mil there we go so you're getting a little bit but not nothing nothing crazy I'm just going to put this back so I don't lose my wide angle lens for the next test. This has been a very long stream and uh, there we go. So it's better Imperius Fade to buy those outside of the pack, is that what you're saying? Or just get the creative combo. Edges are softer, yeah the edges, I mean I don't use the wide angle, I think 20 mils is enough. You don't need a super wide angle lens. If you need a wide angle, buy the Action 4. If you're doing more action oriented stuff, you're going to lose low light. That's your trade off. If you want something more image quality wise, I think the uh, Pocket 3 would be your best bet. You do take a risk with the screen. I see the screens are breaking on Facebook, but generally the image quality. I mean, this is 1080p and we're streaming. Imagine the kind of quality you're going to get 4K in D log M when you've color graded it. Yes, I forgot, says Katmanip. Wide angle lens is meh. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I wouldn't use the wide angle. It's just another thing you need to remember. I don't know. It, it, it's just gonna, it's just pushing that sensor out a little bit, getting a little bit wider. And I mean, you're gonna degrade your quality a slight bit. Not, not sure it's worth buying. It's definitely worth getting that microphone. Even though you can't live stream with that mic, it's very good. Is the gimbal as fragile as the Pocket 2? Uh, I managed to use, use it as refresh twice. Okay, you had the DJI fresh package. I mean, the gimbal head is a lot bigger than the... I, I can't show you now, obviously, but if you compare the Pocket 2's gimbal head, it looks a lot smaller than the Pocket 3, at least 40-30% smaller. So if, that, if that's anything to go by, bigger is usually more solid, I guess. But still, it's a fragile thing. You don't want to... I feel like it's less fragile feeling than the Pocket 2. The Pocket 2 was always feel, felt a bit like small to me. Oh great, I have another ad that I have to sit through on my own live stream because I'm using that to read the comments. I better watch the whole thing so I get the full payout from uh, AdSense. I prefer the Sony a7C Catalyst Browse perfectly stabilizes the video. I have a lot of time. He has a lot of time. I was just about to say if you've got a lot of time for that. I've used that before. Do you find the focal length of the Pocket 3 limiting? No. I mean, I would ideally like to have one of those dual camera things that you see on like the Air 3S, where you've got the 70 mil and you've got the, even if it's a one over two point, you know, one over two, what is it, a 1.2 point, I'm not sure what the sensor is on the Air 3S. Somebody will, can't remember, but it's a bigger sensor than the uh, one over 2.3. I'd like to have that dual sensor where you have the 70 or 66 mil focal length on a gimbal as well as the wide angle 20 mil. That'd be my ideal pocket camera. And I think it's coming. I think that kind of camera is coming. Within Japan, uh, Action 2 fell off a steam train and didn't break. There we go. Shows you the strength, Sam has just said. My pocket is going to bang in the snow as it was not waterproof. There we go. I wouldn't put it in the snow, Japan. Keep it, you know, why are you going in the snow? What are you rolling and doing snowmen or something in the snow? Come on now. Just wanted to say hello from the Dominican Republic. Good to see you posting again. Are you using the USB port to stream? Wish, I had, wish it had an HDMI port. WDRC in Santo Domingo. I thank you for that comment, but you will have to watch the next video, which will be released right after this live stream it'll explain how i do my live stream and i know i'm a troll i know i'm trolling people but i need people to watch my videos as an you know as a first thing and watch the whole video if you can it's pretty simple what i've done here but it works live streaming i've got a wireless microphone i can go far away from the camera you could put this somewhere and you could talk really far away i like wireless sound people give wireless sound a bad rap but i like it so i'm just trying to get there's no more comments when the comments stop i stop the live stream there's some russian uh, i can't translate that usually i would google translate that russian he's been commenting on my channel i think we're about to lose 
We had 130 people watch the stream, which is pretty good. We've got 25 people right now. We had two wealthy individuals give us money, which is really good. We've been running for a, a really long time. Average view duration, 11 minutes. That's not bad. Just if you wanted to know the stats. A walking while in snow, I think you should be good. I wouldn't worry about that within Japan. If you're buying a camera, now is the time. Black Friday sales. There we go, Sam. It, I, I don't really need many more cameras now, to be honest. Is low light on the Pocket 3 better than the Sony RX10 series? RX100 as in the one inch sensor. Phil Preston, that's an excellent question. I, I wish I could test that. I would go as far as saying just because it's new technology and DJI are quite good with their video quality and their noise reduction. I think you're going to get a better image out of the Pocket 3. People might disagree and I think that RX100 is $1,600 for that one inch sensor, which is an excellent camera, excellent camera, but I think it's the RX camera Mark IV is the one inch sensor. I'm not an expert on all cameras. I have the iPhone SE and the iPhone X, but I know that after the, after the iPhone 11, they added a wide angle option. Maybe that's the same type of drone camera you mentioned. Uh, I can't always remember what I said. What did I say there? Katamanep? Katamanep? There we go. Within Japan's been doing a lot of work with the Pocket 3. He basically works for DJI. He's, uh, he's basically one of their employees. That's why he just says positive things about their cameras. He's a, he's a DJI fanboy. I've con converted him. Isn't it funny that Sony released a groundbreaking camera right the R whatever I still can't remember the name now but it's got a global shutter which means it just exposes every single scene it doesn't read the sensor from top to bottom and it exposes the sensor like constantly and it's an amazing piece of technology but then you look at some of the YouTubers doing videos on that thing they're getting less views than the pocket 3 videos on some people Man, you hated the Pocket 1 and 2, you know it. I did. I mean, the Pocket 1 was good and a groundbreaking camera. It's kind of put this channel on the map a little bit. And the Pocket 2 was not bad, but it was lacking a lot of things. And now we have the Pocket 3, which is, I'd give it a good 8 out of 10. It's close. It's close to being the perfect vlog camera, that's for sure. If you're a vlogging type and if you flip the gimbal or head around, you get beautiful image quality, I think. It's, it's, you know, it could always be better. It's never 100% perfect. Nothing has, you don't need the best image quality to tell a good story, right? That's the whole point. It's more about your editing and, you know, what are you trying to convey and do people find that interesting? I mean, in that case, you might as well buy one of these things because this thing will give you way more reach, you know? If you were talking about something, you could rather use this. DJI means general innovations. Interesting. I think we need to call this a day. Marcus Pix compared Osmo Pocket 3 and RX 100, RX 100 Mark 7. He did. I saw that video. I thought it was the Mark 4, but okay, Mark 7. That RX 100 is an excellent little camera, but it is expensive. Eh? I think they are at 1,500 Australian dollars, whereas the Pocket 3, 1,000. 100 is very expensive thousand dollars yes sam it's time for us all to go even though within japan never sleeps i think it's all i think it's time and i appreciate all the people watching the stream today i think we, we do need to end the live stream 130 people multiple interesting comments that came through and a lot of people might have learned something from the pocket three so i thank you and Watch the video. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just about to release a video. Okay, it'll go live. Actually, let me do it now. So I have the latest video ready to go. I will push the edit button, and I will make it public. And the the thumbnail, as you can see, is some lions that are about to eat me. So. If you see the lions, you know the video. And that's about live streaming. And it's not the best video, but you'll enjoy it. Watch the whole thing. Thank you for everyone for coming.